What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, we're going to go all the way to New Orleans. And in New Orleans, we're going to be talking about very, very popular lady, a very talented lady. I believe she's a millionaire. She is a makeup artist by the name of Supa Scent. Now, I found out about her about six, seven months ago. She was trending because she was with a guy named Lou. And the guy was cheating on her. Okay, now Super Scent, um, like I said, she's worked very hard to get to where she's at. You know, in the New Orleans area, she's very known. I have listened to her talk on Instagram. She is, uh, you know, she's she's hella ghetto, like, no doubt about that. And uh, but you know, she's she's ambitious. She's very ambitious. She's ambitious. Uh, she works very hard. She's made a name for herself. And, uh, but, but like many people, she finds herself dealing with a man that is not on her level. And I'm going to be honest. Okay. Let me say this. Women who come from a very urban background and gain money, right? But let me let me let me let me say it again. Come from a very urban background, right? And I mean the hood. If they happen to make it, and it's not in an academic setting, it's not in a very professional setting. Like you know, she's from the hood, or she's very academically talented. She has gifts. She went to a UC school, or she went to a Harvard or State University. Somebody like Super Sid has made it in a very similar type of environment in which she grew up. Okay, which means that the people that she has met, just like a rapper, right? You know, Snoop Dogg, these guys get money, but they're, they're, you know, it's not like a whole change of lifestyle of people to hang around. They're still doing the same similar things. Just they have money now. Same thing with people like James Harden, athletes. They're dumb. So they do those things. Super Sin is a victim of her own success because while she leveled up with her money, she's not appealing to anybody who's a professional black man that would take her seriously. And it's not that she's not good looking. I know she was big. She lost some weight. I don't think that she's unattractive. I think she could slay it. Uh, but if you look, she has the green and black hair. I tell people about that red and black hair, you know, think, you know, stuff like that. You know, when you have green and black hair, it, it typically signifies for a man. You're for the streets. You could not be for the streets. Right? But when you look like this, you have the look of, okay, yeah, I'm I'm from the hood. And when you want to express yourself like this, you know, you have tattoos, um, tattoos on your hands, on your arms, you're only gonna be able to appeal to a certain kind of guy, and that is Pookie and Ray Ray. I'm sorry. You know, a lot of women don't want to hear this, but here's the situation. There are rules to this. The way that you portray yourself, and you can be liberal as you want, you can complain about it as you want. Women, the what you look like determines the kind of guys who are going to talk to you. How you present yourself out in the road, out on the street, is what a, the kind of guy you're going to get. If you're a lady that has green and black hair, nothing wrong with that, but don't complain when you get Pookie and Ray Ray. And she could be a millionaire. She'd be doing very well. But look at Nicki Minaj. You see what she puts out. Look what she gets. Kenneth Petty. And in this case, Super Saint gets who? Lou. Now Lou's a bum. Okay. Lou doesn't do anything. Lou's a no talent guy. He's a dog. He's a cheater. He just cheated on her seven months ago. And now... He's cheating on her, supposedly sexting some let some younger get younger woman under the age of 18. 
All right. And now she's talking about, you know, she's not going to stick around and follow it out. She's about to get out of here. Well, number one, where are you going? You already took him back. Like, this is the situation. You already took him back. Who? Where are you going to go? And that's the reason here. Super Cent can't go anywhere but to somebody like Luke. That's it. And then when we sit back and we tell people, you deserve better than that. You deserve doing this. You deserve that. And they do have a kid together, okay? Now, you know, you, you deserve better than that. Where is she going to go? Like, seriously. All of her life, she deals with guys like this. This is what she knows. She might be a very, very sweet woman, but her appeal is to hood guys. And then you want to blame Lou for it. He's a liar. He's a cheater. Well, why does she attract a guy like that? That's the question. Why couldn't she do better than that? She is not an unattractive woman. But her appeal is very limited. The only kind of guy Super Sync will, will be able to typically attract. I mean, the guys that are in, let, let, let's just be honest, you know. Um, New Orleans has a lot of talented brothers, okay? The, the, the brothers that are in the in the business, the brothers that are doing that, they, Super Sync can't, can't, you know, they're not checking for her. As, as good as she doing, okay? As, as, as talented as she is. Limited appeal hurts sisters. And then you want to blame guys. Blame also your limited appeal to guys that you can potentially bond with. That's why when I tell people this, you get mad. Tattoos on women, it's a bad look. For a lot of high value guys. Okay? If you want to tattoo it up on your hands or on your whatever, you want to have multicolored hair, um, Trust me, it signifies that you're for a certain type of man. And it could not even be true. But for that, it's going to be for the streets. And a lot of guys who are interested in you are going to pass you by. They'd be like, man, this is cute. She's sexy, but, oh, well, she got green and black hair. Well, she got more tattoos than I do. You know what? Let me just let her pass by. If anything, you know, <laughs> I try to tell people all the time. You're already 2 million more women in the population than black men, all right? To do everything in your power. To have the most or the largest appeal that you can get. Going conservative is the best route. Because when you have an appeal for Pookies and Ray Rays, you get cheated on. You get dogged out. Right when you give a when your look signifies that you get cheated on that, that you can only get a certain guy that's who hollers at you you're gonna get mad about it no judge yourself and how you look and a lot of y'all are gonna be mad don't be mad okay there is a reason why Keisha Cole Keisha Cole is beautiful to me want to know why Keisha Cole can't get a high value guy. Limited appeal. Too many tattoos. Too hood. Looks too hood. All right? You can be a lot of money and look hood. When you look hood, guys that have money, high value guys, like, you know what? Bye-bye. All right? I'm sorry. But let me tell you this. Let's look at Sierra. Okay? The reason why Sierra can be a single mom and still catch, look at Sierra. Sierra looks like a woman that has a better appeal. Look at her right there. No tattoos. Okay? She looks very, very feminine. Very womanly like. Okay? Like a man that you want to have on your arms. You look at Super Sense, you don't you don't think about those things. When you look at Keisha Cole, you don't think about those things. Amber Rose. Amber Rose, who was very beautiful. Look at her now. Tattoo on the forehead. 
no high value guy says, you know what, I, I want to. So you limited your perspective. Then you still get dumped. And now look at her. Sandaling it up. So guys, it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. With another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Subscribe. Hit the bell. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Go to the first comment, turn to the top. I really appreciate all that you do. Guys, thank you for all the support. Um, peace out.